welcome to another session from LearnReason.com. My name's Matt, and I wanted to do a, uh, a video on showing you how to make a little more lifelike snare roll using the Kong drum designer. So what I have here is just a Kong with the, with the, the default kit that comes up. And I'm going to take the snare sound, and I'm just going to copy that patch and paste it to this pad. Click on this pad and just right clicking and pasting there. I'm gonna name this snare hit one. Just clicking on that, snare hit, uh, snare hit two, and uh, snare hit three. Then I'm just gonna go right up here to this pad and you'll see its, its hit type is center. This hit type is going to be position two and this one's going to be position three. Now anytime you pull up a, a kit it's always going to have the hit types if there are any hit types uh, that have been programmed into that patch. You'll see them right here and you can select them easily just like that. So we have three different you know they're, they're just variations just a smidge off. Now if you want you can go in here to the the snare drum and in each one you can you can change it more if you want you may maybe add a little decay on this one uh, add a, a little dampening on that one and so really now you got really really changed them up just ever so slightly So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up here to the pad grouping and for these three pads, snare hit one, two, and three, I'm going to assign them to alt, alternating group G. Oop, I need to change this, snare hit three. And what this does is it, it if you have this active, you can turn it off right there or you can turn it on. So now I have the alt group is active and it's assigned to these three pads. That means when these three pads are triggered, they're going to alternate. They're not just going to go in succession two, three, you know, one, two, three, one, two, three. They're, they'll alternate and you want that. So now I'm going to go in here to the sequencer. I'm going to press W and I'm going to draw in. Um, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll get a, I'm going to press the G key. Let's, let's get a bar in here. We'll just drag this out to be a, a full bar. One bar, I want a one bar roll in. Double click on that. Let's bring this up so we can see it better. Okay, so right here we have our three hits. And I'm at the uh, 16th triplets. So I'm just going to Select those uh, one hit for each one. Press the Q key and just select them. And I'm going to press Command or Control C, depending on what OS you have, to copy them. And then I'm going to press Command uh, Control V to paste them. I'm going to make a paste in one bar roll, snare roll. And so now we have, uh, it's that simple. And now let's. Uh, Let's listen to it. See how it's not, it has variation to it. Now, if you, if you were just to do it with just the one snare, with just one sound, and you don't vary it, it's not going to sound as good. See how they alternate? It's that simple to make a nice snare, and you can you can tweak it as much as you want. Now, if you really want to get going and and have like a a snare roll, you can use sixteen variations. And let me show you what that's like. And so here we have uh, we have sixteen. So let's make a one bar here. We're using all 16 pads. I didn't rename them. I just, 
I just copied the patch, the snare patch, to, um, well, it's not 16. Am I, am I, uh, we're using 15. I don't have the base. But anyways, I just copied the snare patch to all the other pads here. And then I made a, a variation in each one, just slightly, in the, in the Kong drum designer. So let's just copy all these, paste them in. That's good. And you can see that I have all the pads. Oh, we need that one too. But we have all the pads in an alt, they're alternating. And we have 16. Okay. Let's hear that. So you, you can hear the variation. And if you want to have it, um, if you want to say you want to have it uh, fade in, grab all these. 127, the highest velocity. Press the W key and just kind of fade them in. So you have a fade in uh, drum roll to uh, maybe you need in a song. And it's that easy to make a, you know, it's, it's, it, it helps to get rid of that machine gun sound, but yet it, may, it makes it a little more lifelike. It's not so rigid as just using one drums, uh, one snare sound for your uh, your snare roll. You can use sixteen. You can use do the three in a row. You can use four. You know whatever. And anytime you want to, um, you know, just edit it slightly. You just go right in here to your 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 uh, drum programmer and just tweak tweak the uh, the damping, the damp, the decay. Maybe a snare tension, bottom pitch, just ever so slightly, just slightly. Not so much that it's drastic, but it's uh, it's noticeable, just barely. And then uh, it will add a variation to your snare roll and uh, make it sound better, in my opinion. So there you go. I hope this uh, helps you guys out, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. You guys take care.